give a definition, you should consider the target audience. Likewise, you should consider the audience when you give an explanation. An explanation might be confusing or too vague if you do not consider the context and target audience. As an author, you need to consider who you are explaining to, how you explain and how detailed the explanation should be. As a reader, you may also need to consider why the explanation is made and where it can be applied. In everyday life, explanations occur in short phrases, simple words and examples. However, it might be hard to understand an explanation in academic settings. Logical thinking and an understanding of the academic language is required to express a notional meaning. An appropriate explanation should be organised in a systematic way. As explained earlier, a notion can be related to many other ideas, and this can be useful in an explanation. Here are some common techniques in explaining a notion. Definition. A definition is a statement of the meaning of a term. Defining things or concepts in a clear way is extremely important in academic communications and will help to avoid misunderstandings. Good definitions enable us to think and communicate effectively. Exemplification. Exemplification is providing examples to illustrate a point or claim so as to effectively convey what is meant. Giving examples also makes an explanation more comprehensive, showing other ways of looking at a topic and allowing readers to investigate information further. Without examples, an explanation can be dry and not well-rounded. Classification. Classification is the process in which ideas and objects are recognised, differentiated and understood. It implies that objects are grouped into categories, usually for a specific purpose. Ideally, a class or category illuminates the relationship between the similarities and differences of, of points. Comparison Comparisons are useful to convey information about different topics to show what makes each topic unique in its own right and also showing similarities. A comparison can work with abstract theories, concrete objects or intangible phenomena. And finally, analogy. An analogy involves explaining an unfamiliar concept in terms of a familiar one. It's a process of transferring information from a particular subject that people are familiar with to a different subject which is new and complicated. Analogy is important and not only in ordinary language and common sense but also in science, philosophy and humanities. In cognitive linguistics, the notion of conceptual metaphor may be equivalent to that of an anal analogy. Analogy is one of the best ways to explain an idea. It's been a teaching technique since Socrates. It works because it can get a complicated point across in an incredibly simplistic way. The more information you can get from what people already have, the better they'll understand the new concepts you're trying to explain.